And welcome to another segment of Your Health with MU Healthcare. I have a special guest joining me today, Dr. Jose Ramirez. And uh, tell a little bit about what you do here at MU Healthcare, if you would. Sure. Uh, I'm one of the two chiropractors for Missouri Orthopedic Institute, and we specialize in musculoskeletal ailments or symptoms. Uh, we treat any age group from uh, infant all the way up to geriatric, although most or bulk of the population is adult population. Understand, and we are going to talk a little bit about joints and uh, and things like that, the aches and pains. But uh, you have an interesting story to me. Uh, you used to play football in college. Tell uh, tell the folks a little bit about your college playing days, if you would. Sure, I was uh, fortunate enough to play football at FCS school outside of Philadelphia, Illinois University, well known for basketball, especially the last couple of years. Uh, played there. I was there five years. I registered my freshman year, and then. Uh, I graduated in 1995 with an education degree. I was a high school teacher for 10 years before I switched over to chiropractic. But my time at Villanova was wonderful. Uh, we played on, some, played on some good teams. We made the playoffs uh, three times. And uh, unfortunately, my last year wasn't all that good, but it's still a great time. Great school. I'd recommend it to anybody. Nice. And you still see some of the MU football players here as, as a chiropractor, correct? That's correct. So my wife and I, uh, Dr. Brittany Ramirez, we are the chiropractors from Zoo Athletics. So we cater to football, but we treat we treat all the other athletes also. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to travel with the team when we go to away games. And her and I get to share the home games, and we, we do that duty. So we give them a uh, pre uh, pre performance uh, protocol, which is loosens up their hips, puts extension into their back, and loosens up their neck so they can go out and warm up properly to be able to perform interested about all this and uh, let's talk a little bit about the weather and uh, you know winter time months cold does that does that affect your uh, your joints a little bit more than any other time of the year certainly does uh, so the story is especially older joints like my joints right I'm in my late 40s so they be- start becoming arthritic after your third decade right so what that means is the joint space has narrowed right so what happens when the cold weather fronts come in the atmospheric pressure drops. So if you think of a, a balloon that you've, that you've inflated, right, and it's, it's, it's fully inflated, you have an equal pressure inside the balloon and outside the balloon. If you were to drop the atmospheric pressure, that balloon would expand. So that's similar to what happens to your joint when that happens, when a cold front comes in or a storm comes in, rain, right? There's those old, old, old folks that can predict the weather, right? Well, they're right. So what happens is because you have an arthritic joint, remember the joint space is narrowed, you have less wiggle room to be able to uh, accommodate that inflammation without setting off your pain sensors. So that's, in a nutshell, an oversimplification of what happens, but that's what happens. Is there anything that folks can do to kind of uh, lessen arthritis, like exercising, would that that lessen the effects of it? Uh, Absolutely will reduce the acceleration of arthritis, right? So long as you do it uh, in moderation and you do it intelligently, right? So if you have arthritic knees, you probably shouldn't go run an ultra marathon, right? Because it's, it's just going to make things worse. But certainly you want to move, you want to be active, right? You, the last thing you want to do is just sit around and go, oh, my knee's hurt, I'm not going to do anything because that's going to accelerate arthritis also. But all, but definitely uh, things like walking, hiking, getting in the pool and doing uh, exercises in the pool, whether it be like an aerobics class in the pool or uh, just swimming, right, uh, would be great for your joints. Again, and I know that firsthand because I've had three knee surgeries. I've rehad them all in the pool. Nice. So whenever you start having this pain and you think that you may need surgery on it, how do how do you uh, how do you know? When, how do you go about uh, you know initiating that conversation with with your doctor or chiropractor? Okay. Well, you t- you go to your, your primary care physician or your chiropractor. You tell them your symptoms. So make sure you have written down what you're you're experiencing when you're at rest when you're lying down to sleep, if it's keeping you up at night or keeping you from sleeping or waking you up in the middle of the night. And also when you're exercising and being active, what you're feeling. Does it change? Does it get worse? Does it get better uh, with motion, right? Uh, You want to have those downs and you want to have your list of questions, right? You want to have your list of questions. Is it it arthritis? Is it uh, tendonitis? Is it something that might be surgical? Certainly when you have a knee and you're walking down the street and your knee just buckles and you fall, probably a good indication you need some kind of intervention other than just put some ice on it, right? But other, but if it's just aching pains and it gets better with, with, with uh, exercise or with motion, you're probably not a surgical candidate. But then that, now the disclaimer is that I don't have x-ray vision. I haven't examined you when you're listening, you know, those of you who are listening. So definitely still go see medical attention. 
How do uh, they go about getting a hold of you here at uh, MU Healthcare? I know we have a phone number for you. It's sure. uh, 573-884-0655. Uh, other options? Yeah, you can Google, uh, do a Google search or an online search from Missouri Orthopedic Institute and go to your search engine and search provider and look up chiropractor and you'll see my name and you'll see Dr. Miller's name. Pick either one of us and that'll take you through the steps where you can uh, call the number you're going to give to make an appointment or you can make your own appointment same day online. Just put in your information and who your healthcare provider is. You don't have to give all the details and you can make it, we take uh, patients that same day. Awesome. Would you recommend folks go and see a chiropractor if if they're having some issues with their joints? Oh, absolutely. Especially if you're having trouble getting in to see another provider, right? Uh, We're trained to be able to Bring you in, give you an examination, and tell you, yes, an adjustment is going to help that. Yes, your ankle's not moving well, we can adjust it and, it, and it's going to feel better. Or, you know what, you need a little more intervention. You may need physical therapy. You may need an injection, or you may need something more serious to that. We're trained to identify that and not waste your time in our office and send you the right person. Outstanding. It's been Dr. Jose Ramirez with us today on uh, our uh, segment with MU Healthcare. I want to thank you for your time, sir, and uh, we we'll hope we can visit with you again. Uh, also, it's been a pleasure. Uh, pleasure all ours, and uh, that's another segment with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO.